When we speak of sadness these days, most of the time what we really mean is despair, which is literally defined as the absence of hope. But true sadness is actually the opposite, an exuberant upwelling that reminds you how fleeting and mysterious and open-ended life can be. That's a quote by John Keenig. It expresses my state of mind this past year and a half on my break from YouTube. Actually, in all honesty, I've been falling apart since 2017 when I finished my trip around the world. A lot of things about life, and my life in particular, came to surface. My privilege landed me into this world that I'm so grateful for, yet so saddened by. This demon that exists within me in the form of depression has been all-consuming and has only gotten worse since I've aged. It's sad that I can't speak up more on it, but we live in a society where, unless you're ready for the ridicule, then you best not. I find mechanisms to cope, and it's a constant effort. For those struggling and battling the same demons, I feel for you. I find that nature therapy helps, as does giving myself the time I need in the day, managing life at a slower pace, and finding the little things that bring me joy, and embracing those things on a daily basis. This online presence that I depict is one that I feel I've had to show constant positivity share everything I know, and always portray this version of me that felt forced, if I'm being honest. I've sat long and hard this past year and a half, deliberating as to how I can express what it is that I intend to, whilst embracing the feelings and emotions that I suppress. Inside, I'm dark and eerie, a realist about life, and at the same time, a risk taker to experience the power and embrace that life has to offer in the short time on Earth. I want to get back to my story time series, but they'll be framed in a different way. I don't think you need to see my face, in my humble opinion. I think looking at my face while telling my story takes away from the feeling and vision of the moment in time that I'm trying to transport you to. So it is my hope that my videos will shift a bit to express a deeper, more profound visual and listening experience. This past year and a half, quite a bit has happened. I've moved three times, with the most recent being moving in with my partner. We've been together for a year and a half or so now. I'd spent the past decade of my life, essentially all of my 20s, being single so that I could focus on laying the foundation for my life and career, and I was able to do just that. This relationship felt like a natural progression in life for me. In the past year and a half, I also tried antidepressants for the first time. I've had depression, as you guys know, since age of 13, so about 20 years. but. Those antidepressants resulted in a terrible outcome for me, so after eight months, I went off them. If you want to know more about my experience with depression and antidepressants and coping mechanisms and strategies to work through my symptoms of depression and anxiety, feel free to let me know in the comments and maybe I'll make a video on it. I traveled to Costa Rica, Mexico, Canada, Napa Valley, New York, Connecticut, Maryland, Arizona, Colorado, Texas, among other places. I started a couple new businesses, which I hope to share with you in due time. I turned 32, and I'm about to turn 33. I raced a couple Olympic triathlons and sprints, but I'm taking a break from triathlon until I can get my body and mind to where I need it to be to set myself up for success in the sport. Oh, and I've been doing a lot of podcasting for Wondery. I host a podcast called Against the Odds. It's about these incredible true stories of survival from the Uruguayan rugby plane crash in the Andes, to Jessica Buchanan, a humanitarian aid worker who was kidnapped by Somali land pirates. I mean, these stories are incredible. If you want to have a listen, I'll put the link in the description. Since the pandemic, I've hit a ton of lows, as I know many people have, and it's been a struggle to resurface. This time next year, I hope to share with you the depths of what it is I'm going through currently, but right now, I can't really talk about it. Until then, I'm going to make a good effort at bringing back the Storytime series, as well as more content for you guys. 
As always, if there's anything you'd like to see, let me know. Thanks for sticking with me and being so loyal while I was away. Here's to brighter days. By the way, I've been reading John Koenig's new book, Dictionary of Obscure Sorrows, so I might be quoting him a lot. I'm obsessed. Watashiatu. Curiosity about the impact you've had on the lives of people you know. Wondering which of your harmless actions or long-forgotten words might have altered the plot of their stories in ways you'll never get to see.